Hello and welcome to the next session of uh, photosynthesis in higher plants. So, in this session we are using some technology by which let us represent the process of photosynthesis. Now, regarding the process of photosynthesis as you have studied in the earlier part also regarding the process of photosynthesis how exactly the photosynthesis occurs where exactly the process of photosynthesis occurs and the mechanism of the photosynthesis what is the purpose of photosynthesis in the plants and uh, finally, what we are going to get. The final product is the food which is produced in the green plants and that is required for all the living organisms. So, that is why food has to be produced in presence of the sunlight and hence here we come across the dark reactions as well as the light reactions. So, the PPT that you are seeing now this is regarding the part of the absorption as well as uh, the action spectra which was uh, proposed by T. W. Engelmann where we also call it as a, the T W Engelmann's absorption as well as a action spectra of light. Then later on we came across a, the light harvesting complexes also where we call it as a LSC and it comes under the process of the light reactions which already you have studied about these parts. Okay. So, where the light reactions also called as the photochemical phase why it is called as a photochemical phase photo means light during in presence of the light you with the use of some chemicals how the organic compounds are synthesized. Okay. So, here this phase directly depends on the light the pigment ab absorb light energy and produce ADP that includes all of this light absorption by the plants splitting up of water where we call it as a water splitting oxygen release formation of ATP and NADPH which we have studied in our previous session how energy is produced during non cyclic photophosphorylations. Okay. Then here in this let us go to the photophosphorylation, photophosphorylation as we have discussed yesterday photo means light of phosphorylation is nothing but production of energy either it is in the form of ATP or either it is in the form of a NADPH. So, irrespective of that so, during the process of a photophosphorylation energy is produced. So, energy has to be produced because the process is taking place in the chloroplast. When the process takes place in the chloroplast, then the food has to be produced inside the chloroplast initially. Okay. So, later on the storage points are different. Okay. Now, here the process of formation of ATP in chloroplast in presence of sunlight is said to be photophosphorylation. So, photophosphorylation is of two types non cyclic as well as a cyclic type. Okay. So, already we have discussed regarding the non cyclic photophosphorylation what are the ingredients needed for this recipe. So, we discussed all these things in the previous session also the same thing has been represented here in the form of statements. Now, P S 2 absorbs a 680 nanometer wavelength of a red light. Okay. So, the Webjar spectra 680 nanometer. So, it represents a red spectra of light then causing electrons to become excited and these electrons are then accepted by an electron acceptor. We sends them to an electron transport system where we call it as a downhill first a uphill transport later on it is a downhill transport. Okay. Then electron transport system transfers electrons to photo system 1. So, which already we know. Okay. Then electrons in PS1, PS1 bandaga, then again it gets excited, then it gets a uh, simultaneously excited on receiving a wavelength of a 700 nanometer light. That means, a light has to fall on the reaction center of photo system 1 as well as a on the reaction center of a photo system 2. So, on both the cases. Okay. Then from the electron acceptor electrons are transferred to the molecule of a NADP plus which is converted into NADPH plus H plus finally. So, addition of these electrons reduce the NADP plus to NADPH plus H plus which is also termed to be NADPH 2 Antunu Karitiv. Since the electrons lost by PS 2 do not come back once if the electrons are excited once if the electrons are flow once if the electrons move the electrons are not returned back. If the electrons are not returned back then such type of a, the electron transport system is said to be non cyclic electron transport system. Okay. ADP is 
called non cyclic photophosphorylase that, that means uh, ATP is produced in the non cyclic photophosphorylation along with that even NADPH2 is also produced. So, this is the basics based on the diagrammatic representation where we call it as a, the schematic representation. Okay. Now, here we have the scheme. So, this is the diagram of the chloroplast. So, where it shows the light reactions occurs here along with that the dark reaction is represented by a Kelvin cycle. And the Yardu chloroplast na gaakta da, one stroma da aakta da. Kelvin cycle is exactly food to tiyar madonta mechanism. This is a cycle which you are going to study it. Okay. So, Kelvin cycle occurs in the stroma while the light reactions occurs in the membrane of thylakoid. So, you should know the basic difference is the basic idea early. What is this Kelvin cycle? Okay. So, let us study that Kelvin cycle in detail. Okay. We have an elaborate account of these also, but for the process of the Kelvin cycle, if Kelvin cycle has to take place, then definitely the light reaction has to occur. Okay. Now, what exactly happens here? Now, here when the light energy reaches, when light reaches to the photo system 2, it is having a reaction center called as a P680. So, what we have discussed yesterday, here we are representing in the diagrammatic form with some additional parts. Okay. So, yesterday we have came across the part of the NCLT and now we are looking at the part of the major compounds, intermediate compounds okay, that we come across. Now, when light falls, then there is a splitting of water where we also call it as a photolysis of water. So, let us study that heading later. Water gets splitted, H2 gets broken down to release two electrons, two protons and one nascent oxygen. Okay. That means, we also call it as half O2. Hangither oxygen release up and yes two water molecules break down abaku, two water molecule has to be broken down. Then the electrons which are released, it reaches the reaction center of a PS2, it gets a photo excited, then electrons are transported to the primary acceptor. And if we come to the primary acceptor there, the primary acceptor here, this is called to be PHE. We call it as a PO phytin. So, PHE is a PO phytin. Now, here we have a compound. The primary acceptor is a PO phytin and karitiv. So, this is the additional. In CRTP2, additional now will discussion Madakati. Okay. So, PO phytin is there. Then, when the electrons are accepted by this PO phytin, then uh, in the downhill process, e downhill process will get a So, here PQA, PQB, and Tanota the Kelon the intermediate compounds Baronthada, which is there in your neat material. You can just go through that PQA, PQB, then uh, cytochrome B and F complex, then comes the PC. Then what is the meaning of this? You will like intermediate compounds all together what they do? They help in transport of the electrons. One the one the electrons transport Suppose let me take a ball. stage Let us call that ball as an electron. Now, what I do is, if I am the reaction center of photosystem 2, I just throw the ball to one person. What he does? He just catches the ball. Then what he does? This is what is called as an electron transport. This is system. This method is flow. So, this electrons flow. But this electrons flow again. Energy from the electron is absorbed and finally, the energy is produced in the form of ATP as well as NADPH. Here energy production okay. Now, here first one comes a PO phytin, then comes a PQ. This is a plastoquinone. PQ is plastoquinone. It is a compound. The electrons from the PO phytin, where we call it as a primary acceptor of electrons, are transferred to PO phytin. 
sorry plastoquinone from here plastoquinone a plastoquinone b and tono irtava let us call it as simply plastoquinone from here it is transferred to cytochrome complex cytochrome b and f complex antanu karitiv now look at the electron transport there all electron transport hanga da now here this cytochrome complex idaka cytochrome b bar f complex antanu karitiv yakandra cytochrome b6 complex cytochrome f complex ant irtavalle during this process here what happens electron flow provides energy for chemiosmotic synthesis that means here what is produced atp is produced from adp plus ip il energy produce aagtati now illi torsta irtivi but idu next inond chemiosmosis and baradate exactly atp alli synthesize aagta irtada but that atp will be produced by the non cyclic process only okay so let us take here atp tayar aagtada now here there is a symbol which is given electron flow provides energy for chemi osmotic synthesis of atp atp tayar aagtada nu antadu kotaru so here atp gets synthesized okay that atp is released into the stroma only then electron comes to pc 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 is plastocyanin this pc is plastocyanin then electron will move towards the photosystem one reaction center of photosystem one illu light beldada illu sunlight bidirudada and it receives the wavelength of 700 nanometer of light then again it gets excited and it donates the electron to the primary acceptor and there what we have is a primary acceptor is a, we call it as a a0 a1 f complex now a0 a0 a1 anta anuvanta kelond complex kol bartava they are unknown complexes unknown compounds antanu karitivi through those compounds it is transported to the fd fd is a paradoxin paradoxin then these electrons are transported to nadp plus where nadp gets re reduced reduction antare no addition of hydrogen oxidation antare no removal of hydrogen hydrogen tagadang at remove madidu antara oxidation ant karitivi hydrogen add madidu antara reduction ant karitivi so nadp plus gets reduced to nadp plus plus h plus right or else it is also called as nadp h2 antanu kariti now ee rithi convert aagtada now here we have an enzyme idu ond enzyme bekatti that enzyme is a nadp reductase enzyme to produce a nadp h2 we require an enzyme this enzyme is a nadp reductase enzyme ant kariti okay so the finally electrons are accepted by this nadp plus combines with 2h plus finally forms into nadph plus h plus so one nadph 2 is equal to how many atp it is equal to 3 atp adu more atp thus equivalent irutad ast energy rich compound adu right and we we know what is nadph nadph is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate and karitivi okay so this is regarding the part of the non cyclic photophosphorylation so which i have we have already studied with the, an additional content we are studying it okay so let us go to the next one the next part that we are going to study is regarding the cyclic photophosphorylation now in the non cyclic photophosphorylation the electrons are not returned back in non cyclic the electrons are not returned back that's why we say it as a non cyclic photophosphorylation while in case of the cyclic photophosphorylation the electrons are returned back to the reaction center one more thing in plants generally non cyclic photophosphorylation will occur non cyclic agudu bhalasta time normally agudu non cyclic photophosphorylation yakandre adrinda energy production aagutade 
ಯಾಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟು ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ತಯಾರು ಮಾಡೋದತ್ತಿ ಮುಂದೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ತದೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟು ಬೇಕಾಗ್ತಾವೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂತದ ಓಕೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಫುಡ್ ತಯಾರು ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇನ್ಪುಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಇವು ಲೈಟ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಇಷ್ಟು ಎನರ್ಜಿ ತಯಾರಾಗ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತದೆ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ದ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಫಾಸ್ಫುಲೇಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ಡ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಒನ್ ಒಂದೇ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ ಆಗ್ಯದ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಟೂ ಇದ್ರಾಗ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ ಆಗಿರಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ನಾನ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಫಾಸ್ಫುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಕರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೆಂಬ್ರನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಥೈಲಾಕಾಯ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಫಾಸ್ಫುಲೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಕರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಮಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಮಲೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಮಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಮಲೆ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತದ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಇಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಒನ್ ಒಂದ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಇರ್ತದ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಆಕೊಂತ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತದೆ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದ ನೇಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಕುಡ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲಿ ಬಿ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಮಾ ಲ್ಯಾಮಲೆ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವೇರ್ ಡಸ್ ದ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಫಾಸ್ಫುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಕರ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದಾಗ ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಮಾ ಲ್ಯಾಮಲ್ಲೆ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಮಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಮಲೆದಾಗ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಮಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಮಲೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಗ್ರಾನಮ್ದಿಂದ ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಗ್ರಾನಮ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗುವಂಥದ್ದು ಪ್ಯಾಸೇಜ್ ಅದು ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಮಾ ಲ್ಯಾಮಲ್ಲೆ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಇಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಮಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಮಲೆ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಒನ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಇರ್ತಾವೆ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಟೂ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರ್ ಇರೋಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ದೆನ್ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ರಿಡಕ್ಟೈಸ್ ಎನ್ಸೈಮ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಫಾಸ್ಫುಲೇಷನ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ದಿಸ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಿಂಥಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಒಂದ ತಯಾರಾಗ್ತದ ವೈಲ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಿಂಥಸೈಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಇದು ಸಿಂಥಸೈಸ್ ಆಗಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ನಾನ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನಾನ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಫಾಸ್ಫುಲೇಷನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಒನ್ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಒನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಎಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಲೈಟ್ ಹಾರ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಹಾರ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಪಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಮೂವ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಎ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಮೂವ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಅದರ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಇಟ್ ರೀಚಸ್ ದ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಪಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಫಿಲ್ ಎ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಲೋವರ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಹೈಯರ್ 
combines with an inorganic phosphate and finally forms into ATP. ATP synthesize acta. So look into your textbook NCRT and then listen to the video. You will understand it better. Okay. So here energy is produced. Here what we say energy for chemiosmotic synthesis of ATP. And the idrinda is chemiosmos for the hogi ATP thyaraka tantanota dile here tara. But here energy is produced in the form of ATP. ATP thyara itu. Electrons are returned back. Then it undergoes the process of excitation. It will continue cyclic process start here today. Now this process is very rare in the plants. E process cyclic plants are agudu bhala kadi me non cyclic agudu jasi. Ya kandra cyclic din the energy bhala stu production agangila. But non cyclic din the energy production bhala akta. Ya kandra non cyclic naga ondo NADPH amal ondo ATP thayar akta. Which is equal to all now calculate mada daga naal KTP production adang gaita. But ilu one cycle in the one day ATP production adang gaita. That's why energy produced is less. If the plant receives a particular wavelength of only P seven hundred, then what happens? Cyclic photophosphorylation will take place. Non cyclic agang gila waga cyclic one day matra akta yar tadi in the stromal lamellae ali matra agon tada. Okay. So there you can just better understand here. Everything is same only. Again, when light falls, electrons jump. It enters into intermediate compounds. इल्ल भारत से intermediate के लोन तो compounds ही रो आता हो. If you just look at your neat material, then you find a lot of intermediate compounds here. इल्ल मध्य दिल बंदा का A zero, A one, F X, F A B, Q अंत बेरे-बेरे compounds इल्ल बरो आता हो. But majorly, now here we are considering majorly. So majorly is a paradoxin, then it comes to PQ, plasto Q9, cytochrome B and F complex and the karithi way, then plasto sinin PC, then the electrons return back. Adra ill bandag matra ATP tiarakta da. ATP is produced. Okay. Ill iru vantadu idu lower energy level state, the electrons bagge head iru vantadu idu higher, and the jump padag it enters into the higher energy level state okay now let's move on to the next part which we are talking yesterday about the photolysis of water where it is also called as a splitting of water it is also called as a splitting of water how water gets splitted now water splitting complex is associated with a ps2 now here splitting of water and Oxygen evolving complex O E C अंतरु करी थी भी, so what it is? Let's see here. Now manganese, chlorine etc. play an important role in splitting up of water when light falls on the leaf. Here what exactly happens? The light dependent splitting of water is called as a photolysis. What is photolysis? Splitting of up of water in presence of sunlight is called as a what? Photolysis अंत करी थी. Now here two molecules of H2 are broken down to release four protons, one molecule of oxygen and four electrons. So this is the exact process which occurs during photolysis of water, splitting of water. Either process this will be asked for a two mark level question. Explain the splitting of water. Splitting of water is also called as a photolysis of water where there is breakdown of water in presence of sunlight where two molecules of water are broken down to produce four molecules of protons, four molecules of electrons and one molecule of oxygen. Electrons are picked up by the reaction center for the electron transport system. Then what happens to the protons? Protons they remain in the lumen of the Thylakoid, thylakoid center वाला कड़ी रोंता तो lumen वाला कड़ी उड़ी तवा, then oxygen which is released, it comes out from the plant through the stomata, stomata मुकंदर वाला कड़ी release आता है रोंता, okay, then electrons formed are used for replacing the electrons lost from P6 AT, reaction center two होकता थे, U L होकता होंते electrons, आ statement इल बंदी रोंता, P6 AT absorbs light and becomes a as a strong oxidizing agent and splits a molecule of water to release oxygen. Oxygen is liberated and oxygen is the byproduct of photosynthesis. Remember, which is the byproduct of photosynthesis? Oxygen is the byproduct. But note, oxygen byproduct, how kedrusadaka namaga, 
ಸರ್ವೈವಲ್ಗೆ ಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೋನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಹಾಗೆ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫೋಟೋಲೈಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ದೆನ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ನಾನ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಫಾಸ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ ಇವೆರಡೋದ್ರ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ನಾವು ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಏನು ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ನಮಗೆ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ತದೆ ನಾವು ನಾನ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಫೋಟೋಲೈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಟರ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಡೌನ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಟರ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಡೌನ್ ಆಗಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆಗಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಈ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಗೊತ್ತಾಯಿತು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೋಟೋಲೈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಷಿಯನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ವಿ ನೋ ಬೋತ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಎರಡು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾವೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಾವ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲಿಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ನಾನ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಫಾಸ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ದೀಸ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕೆಮಿ ಆಸ್ಮೋಟಿಕ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೆಮಿ ಆಸ್ಮೋಸಿಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಬೈ ಪೀಟರ್ ಮಿಶಲ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಥ